today I thought it would be fun to share with you my plant family. I love plants, I love gardening, and it's just a great hobby of mine. And I know you've probably seen many of my plants in my like, home tours and decor, but I just wanted to tell you what types of plants I have and where I've gotten the pots from, and I know some of them are thrifted anyway, so of course that's my style. But let's get started on my little plant tour. So I'm gonna start here in my kitchen, and this plant you've probably seen in a lot of videos, but this is my pigtail fern. So it's called pigtail because it's got these two um, pigtail type things, and it gets pretty tall. And I just have it in a thrifted pot. I need to find something to match here, but I just love it, and it grows pretty quickly, and it just adds a nice green to my kitchen. And then down here, I repotted some of these, and these are a variety of mother-in-law's tongue. That's what my sister said, so I believe that's what that is. And then um, here are some of my faux plants that I've done a DIY on this, just a Dollar Tree floor arrangement, and then my um, succulents there. And then moving on over here, this is another mother-in-law's tongue variety back here. And they all were kind of damaged, so I'm just trying to rejuvenate them. And I feel like I kind of have a decent green thumb. And then here, this was a DIY, but this in here was almost dead and I just stuck it in some water and it is doing great now. It is part of a um, spider plant off shoot off of that. So I just have that um, regrowing in there. All right, and up in my kitchen, I also have this spider plant. He just hangs out up there, and I like how it adds in with my milk glass there too. Nice green. All right, making my way in here. Some more variety of mother-in-law's tongue, and I've had this plant for three years. I just This was from an antique store, and I just like the pop of color. Um, and then again, some of my DIYs I've done, like some succulents. And these are some of my faux greens, an air plant, and some more Dollar Tree faux greens there. Um, I'll take you around to my piano area. And I have, sorry, I adjusted my light there, another faux succulent there. All right, in my living room, this is a new added touch. Again, this one was pretty beat up, and I'm just trying to rejuvenate them. Mother-in-law's tongue, but this pot, oh, I love this right here. Um, it's little babies in the kitchen, but this was from Home Goods, I believe. Home Goods or Ross, one of the two. Something like that. <laughs> anyway, over here, I have another air plant in there. Some more of my DIYs over there. And then this one is real as well. So this is one of the, ooh, we need some water. Whew. This is one of the spider plants. That's what I'm trying to say there. So that is just on my wall. All right, then here in my bedroom is my spider plant. And I actually could cut this shoot off and start planting that too. But this was a gift from a college friend and so was the pot. So I've had that for about six years now. But I like just having plants in every room. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button and comment below if you're a green thumb like me. And also, what plants are good for putting in the bathroom? Because mine seems to die when I put them in the bathroom, which is really strange. But don't forget to subscribe, like I said already. Give this video a thumbs up and go check out some other videos that I've done about farmhouse DIYs and home decor. And let me know too if you wanna see a spring thrifted wardrobe haul and try on for you. All right, have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.